Good evening and welcome to the benefits of Canterbury, St Dunstan, St Mildred and St Peter, where you join us in the Sea Cadet headquarters for our broadcast benefit service of Night Prayer or Compline on Tuesday the 1st of August 2023. My name is John Morrison and I'm standing in for our rector, the Reverend Jenny, uh, the Reverend Joe Richards, and our curate, the Reverend Jenny Walpole. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night, Tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. The refrain for Psalm 143, starting at the first verse, is Show me, O Lord, the way that I should walk in. Show me, O Lord, the way that I should walk in. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and in your faithfulness give ear to my supplications. Answer me in your righteousness. Enter not into judgment with your servant, for in your sight shall no one living be justified. For the enemy has pursued me, crushing my life to the ground, making me sit in darkness like those long dead. My spirit faints within me. My heart within me is desolate. Show me, O Lord, the way that I should walk in. I remember the time past. I muse upon all your deeds. I consider the works of your hands. I stretch out my hands to you. My soul gasps for you like a thirsty land. O Lord, make haste to answer me. My spirit fails me. Hide not your face from me, lest I be like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear of your loving kindness in the morning, for in you I have put my trust. Show me the way that I should walk in, for I lift up my soul to you. Show me, O Lord, the way that I should walk in. Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord, for I flee to you for refuge. Teach me to do what pleases you, for you are my God. Let your kindly spirit lead me on a level path. Revive me, O Lord, for your name's sake, for your righteousness sake. Bring me out of the trouble. Your faithfulness, in your faithfulness, stay my enemies and destroy all my adversaries, of, all the adversaries of my soul. For truly, I am your servant. Show me, O Lord, the way that I should walk in. Jesus, our companion, when we are driven to despair, help us through the friends and strangers we encounter on our path to know you as our refuge, our way, our truth, and our life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our short script of reading this evening is Matthew chapter 11, 28 to the end. Jesus said, Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Our responsory. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord, God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Our gospel canticle is the Nunc Dimittis, the Song of Simeon. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep may rest in peace. Gracious God, we come to you this evening with grateful thanks for your creation and for all whom we have met today in your name. And we praise you for the glory of community and the love of family and friends. We pray especially tonight for those who are about to attend funerals in a sense of bereavement. Give them strength and love, O Lord, and know that their loved one is treasured and that they will be reunited in the resurrection. We also pray this week for the Church of Europe in the uh, Polish refugee camps in Warsaw and Gdansk and Krakow. And we thank you for the work with refugees that is continuing conducted by the chaplains and we pray O oh Lord that those who are afraid will be comforted this night almighty and everlasting God we beseech you to direct sanctify and govern both our hearts and bodies in the ways of your laws and the works of your commandments and through your most mighty protection, both here and ever, we may be preserved in body and soul. Through our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen.
In peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. Come with the dawning of the day. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. Thank you for joining us this evening for night prayer, Compline. Uh, we will be with you tomorrow at nine o'clock uh, for a service of broadcast benefits morning prayer. Stay safe and know that you are loved. Bye for now.